Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time on my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing my January Fairy Loot. I have already opened this box so I know everything that was in it. I kind of spoiled myself because this box went out later and as soon as people started posting stuff I was like I just want to see what was in it because I already figured out what the book was. But I did put everything back in the box. I think everything is the way I found it. But I still wanted to unbox it since I did unbox every, my other two boxes I got this month. I wanted to show it off just in case you guys come to my channels for my unboxings. So all of the talk, let's just get into it. So here is the information card for this month and the theme was Talk Fairy to Me. And this is so pretty. I always really love their information card. So the first thing that was in here was a candle from Meraki Candles. And if I'm not mistaken, they decided to close down their shop, which I'm really sad about because we have gotten quite a few candles from them and I have enjoyed them all. And I was kind of waiting to save up some money to be able to place a really big order from them because they are a UK based company. And it was just like the shipping was just as much as like one candle. So I was kind of putting it off, but now I won't be able to because they're closed. But anyway, back to the candle that was in this box. This is themed after Prince Cardin, which is a character from the book that is included in this month's box. And it is a fairy loot exclusive and it says the scent is clove, oak wood, moss, leather, black pepper, and pine. And it's just like this white color and there is some glitter in here so the next thing we have in here are these set of magnetic bookmarks and this is from the company dreamy and co i'm not really sure which side is the front i don't know if it even really matters but this is of reese and Feyre in their illyrian fighting gear and these are so cute i have been seeing like the Akatar characters in these little chibi forms and I think they're so cute and I just have never gotten around to buying them and I'm so happy that I have these because these are so cute. The next thing we have in here is this lip balm from Geeky Clean and you could have gotten one of two. I think it was Sealy and Unsealy and I got Unsealy un and this is a honey flavored lip balm and I believe I saw somewhere that the Sealy one is an apple flavored. The next thing that was in this box I was really excited about because I always before I subscribed to this box I had seen quite a few people getting these pillowcases in their boxes before and that was one of the big reasons why I decided to subscribe to Fairy Loot because I was like I want to get that in a box and I was so happy with it. <laughs> I have gotten one other one before but I believe I'm I, yeah this one is definitely my favorite because it is a quote from the Akatar series and look at this beautiful thing. It says only you can decide what breaks you and I believe that is a quote from Akamath. It's so beautiful and I believe this one is designed by Evie Bookish. Yes it's designed by Evie Bookish. And it is so beautiful and I will say I just love Fairy Loose customer service. Like I said I already did open this and I automatically noticed that there was like this little thread that was coming out of the side and there is a little hole that's in you know where it's starting to unthread inside. So I contacted Fairy Loot and they are already working on getting me another one set and I just love that. I just absolutely love this pillowcase. It's just so beautiful from one of my favorite fandoms and I just love it so much and I can't wait to get a pillow and display it and it's just gonna be so amazing. Sorry I'm just so excited about this. The next thing that was in the box was this Fairyland coloring book and it is Mythical Creatures to Color and this is actually a Fairy Loot exclusive so you won't be able to find this specific book anywhere else and I really like it because if you flip through they have the picture of the creature and then on this page they have the creature and then some information about that creature. The last two things that were in the box before the book are these prints and before I even get into it can I just say that these prints are absolutely amazing. I'm going to make sure I take close-ups of everything because I know my last and my outcry unboxing and I forgot to do it. 
and I just couldn't do these things justice but these two are prints these are like dual prints supposed to go together and this is of Aylin I believe and then Rowan I haven't read the series yet I plan on reading it this year but these are characters from the Throne of Glass series as far as I know and these are absolutely beautiful on the plus side not only are these beautiful but they have reverse sides so if you don't like these two characters you can use the reverse so on this one it says we all told the truth as we see it do we not and that is a quote from cassandra claire don't know which book haven't read her series either and then on the other side of the other one it says do not lose your heart to a fairy prince it's never it never ends well and that's a quote by julie kagawa i absolutely love the colors of this side so this will probably get displayed first because it's just so pretty i just i love it and i believe this comes from a series that i have been wanting to read i just haven't picked up At this side the artwork was done by deanna warwick I believe is how you say her name and then the quote size were done by Stella Bookish Arts so both of these are absolutely amazing artists and then moving on to the book as always it comes in the little bag the little fairy loot bag so as always we get the fairy loot buddy reading card which I never use I always feel bad but I don't use them because I never read them I feel like when most people read their copies of the books and then we have the bookmark that goes along with the information card so we have the theme on the back and this and I just love this artwork once again and I'm looking forward to using this bookmark and before I get into the other little things that came in that bag the book that was included this month was The Crow Prince by Holly Black and this is obviously the UK edition but this is the cover that most people have seen I do already have a copy of this book that I got in my Alcrate box but they both have different covers so I think I'm going to keep them both because I just I love both covers that I have and I wanted this cover but I didn't want to go out and like you know technically buy it myself even though I did buy it because I bought the box but I'm glad that I have both editions. I'm kind of sad though because since it is a UK edition we don't have like the love the pretty um artwork that comes on the hardcover like it does in the u.s now i'm glad that and this is another reason why i'm going to keep my other copy as well because my the one that came in the outcrate does have the nice artwork on the front of the hardcover and i don't know why they didn't do it for the uk and included with this book we got a letter from the author as well as a signed book plate so i can use that in my book and also included with the with the book was this print and it says that this is exclusive artwork of Prince Cardin and this was illustrated by Mare Wild. So the last thing that was in the bag was the fairy scoop for the month. And as always inside there is an interview with the author of the book which is Holly Black obviously. And then some books to check out if you enjoy this book. I have already read the Akatar series which I have talked about several times throughout this video. Um, and then the Iron King, or it's, I believe it's the Iron Face series, but the first book is the Iron King by Julie Kagawa. One of the books that I said is definitely on my list, or the series is on my mental TBR list, and I really want to pick that up soon. And then we have Tith or Tithe by Holly Black, which is another, I believe, fairy series by her. I haven't read that one. I've seen it around, but obviously I haven't picked it up. And on the back we have the theme for the February box which is Twisted Tales. That's everything I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.